everybody is doing a bit of everything. That has to be the most horrible thing I've ever heard, he said. The same old necessary mess and another appointment, but not to spend a million on just the ground, but the best price possible, and thus worth another trip. Who should be told? Really, perhaps no one. A few key people, perhaps, about his chin, her breasts. All really just the same, just like looking in the mirror for the first time ever, but every day. Right beneath the door, they are there, wiggling around, almost out of sight. It's really beautiful, but the walls are quite damp. If the leaves were green, why did you paint them out? One problem with the front is the noise, but the light is good. It would be too easy to distinguish between what it was and what it is. But we just do not know what it will be, so it's best that it is left alone. But that's a problem in itself. You'll undoubtedly be wondering why a better class of carrier bag should matter to a man in a house of 43 girls. But there you have it. The blue and the light green, like jogging girls in the sun, moving slowly and a generally better use of time. Got so many fantastic stories. Bruce and Ron. Ron played the piano unexpectedly. Lost the wallet, then Bruce followed him down to London. The basement flat was too small, so the others stayed in a hotel, but came and helped out. Smoking to remember what the fire was like is definitely difficult. Maybe because the walls are only painted as far as I can reach. This is certainly a handicap. If you believe in the flowers, then where is it all going to go next? It's far too easy to set it up only to later realise that most of it has just been sucked down the lens. It's such a strange system with transience but no real tolerance. It's only when you lift up the stained glass window that you can understand the contours of the ground. I only ever enjoyed three. The other 57 were nothing, or maybe 37. Anyhow, and it's not good, having not made the appointments, not having spent money on printing or photocopying. It's just a back problem and too much sugary food. You're just a cover-it-up kind of guy. It was always better to stand at the side of the fence and let the cows and sheep come and eat the grass, rather than going into the field to make contact. Definitely too much coffee. That's also a problem. This is not a serious life, but the girl's trousers are real. You can fuck up and split down the middle, but it does not feel like that when everything's out on the table for a good breakfast. So many things are amiss, but there are lots on the wall. Just like Bruce, and maybe that's a problem. Classics are all right in short bursts, but... When they smoulder on and smoke fills the room, then there's a distinct possibility that the other people in the house might die from smoke inhalation. That was not good. Not good at all. Your feet hurt because these were not really your shoes, and you've returned to acknowledgements that this is what you do, but it does need more lumps. It's been two years in the making. Traffic bumps, things in the road, but... Not enough to keep you awake and stop you getting cramp in the arm. Still, the lines are lining up, and that's a good sign. But for how long? Better not push your luck. Making cottage pie to keep busy, or taking a course in cycle maintenance, but not to go to Paris. Paris in a car. A one-off spinner whirlwind, but not called Lucy. A good name for a child or an adult. One too many or one too few. It was really good. Do you qualify now? Do you qualify now there is some sort of visibility? Can you see your clothes? Are they your clothes? Did you get your mum to get you the same trousers as the big boy up the road? She may have tried, but she did not get the right ones because they didn't make them in your size. Maybe I'll have a crack at making some. But then there is that thing of got trousers, need skid marks. Are you ready for the model up? That's the question. 
You've got a child, but you leave your wife at home to go on holiday. Are you ready to move from second hand through borrowed to the next thing? Other models are always interesting, but nothing can have symmetry. You can only try. Swaying from side to side, trying to figure out which plane it's on. Climbing, but climbing is seen through the frame of a camera. Perfectly central, but nevertheless a chaotic scramble, a numbness. Stop mincing around. We've got a whole cow to cook. There's nothing I can say to you. I think I'll just have to let your ego fly and hope that I can keep going on my own. Two bars every five minutes, and your nose is so coarse. They come down and we've got sixth place. Even then it's going to be an uphill affair. Maybe it's the country or maybe it's because there are too many trees. Right turn, right to left. They still have not burnt it off and you still need a shave. They're playing with bricks, restoring everything and building so much new stuff. You cannot expect it all to be good. Nice straight lines though. One or two will probably die, then it will not be so apparent. Robotics was a right laugh, but we did not have those sunglasses. Totally wrong place because it's not that kind of gig. You're still going to be a really complicated bastard even if you try and stand still. Nice landscapes, nice lines. I wish I could run my hands through it. Just like the downs. You know, you should not really sleep there. If there were a fire, then that would be it. You know that this place has all sorts of fire prevention systems, but then it is also a boiler. A roaring great big furnace that can melt anything. Everything is vaporised or just hanging there in mid-air. I've learned quite a lot about you, but still, the words come out in block capitals. Very separate and without any joined up. It's totally not to do with that, and you know you have to keep moving, looking at all those signs and paying attention. Walking along a muddy road, that was the dream. Thick mud on the edge. It's all like breathing, in and out. From a close focus to a sort of peripheral thing, but like a sea anemone that was open when the tide went out. You've got to spend money to make money, if, like a hamster, you have a store somewhere. Concentrating on the big things like a pension scheme, a garden, a good modern television, a corner library with a leather reclining chair. Let me tell you a story. Just before I leave, before I leave uncomfortably perched on a green padded chair and a packamac making me sweat, the story is of two mice. The first having been caught skilfully in a flower vase made of glass and the right shape for red tulips, was fed with apple, had a bed of torn toilet paper and drips of water and was kept for a few days, released where it ran into a drain and probably drowned. The other was sucked up by a vacuum cleaner and probably died too. It's hard when the seasons skip out the summer, but there is light and there is blue sky. There are clean swept paving stones and garroted weeds strewn over the paving stones by a spinning metal brush. You can't worry about the scratches from the brambles, you just have to keep going. It was a good trip, and it does not matter that you did not make any friends. Maybe next time, maybe next time there'll be more than just photos for the fridge door. So that's it. Like visiting a monument that you did not really intend to. There was an unexpected pleasure in climbing the mound and listening to the sound of other people's lungs struggling too. Seeing that the moles can also climb the mound, but under the ground. Seeing the landscape from another perspective that's very different from the kitchen table. The clouds covered the sun slowly, and then the reflection was gone.